Oh, just having tea, and I had the phone on, and the other channel come up. Um, I think like saying now, Patterson or something. He's up for the North East, and he just got some Fitzbury clamps, and he weren't quite sure how to use them. So um, I'm putting this on to you. Um, what you do? Put that one in there like that, and in this end, you just put it underneath the Fitzbury clamp and stick your pin up there. So when it goes up that end there, it'll go up and you just move that over there. So you, you don't have to do anything this end at all, ever. You, you just slide the line up and that one moves along. Um, I can't really... Dame, just put the, move that fitch brick up, just so I can show this lead. Don't move it up there. Then I'm trying to do this cat handed And then that, well, that, that goes down there like that. You just keep moving it up like that, yeah? Just pulling this bit in here, we've got this opening. Um, the old Fitzroy clamps. Um, if you just put one like that up a reveal, I did show this before, we had it a bit different. But if you put the line there where it is, and actually not where you normally put it, um, otherwise that beds into the uh, joint, they work fine. I mean, you know, they ain't going nowhere. Uh, yeah, another little use for them. Right, here we go again. Uh, another load of concrete blocks. Just turned up the tea on. But I'm doing it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just I just filmed it and fucked it up. <laughs> uh, yeah. I worked it out. We've put 32 the when it's finished there'll be 32 tonne of block in this. Uh, and then you've got to add your your mortar, your, uh, your timber work, the roof goes on, plasterable. The only thing probably weighs 50 tonnes, doesn't it? When it's built. Uh, a lot of difference to a timber frame, that would be much lighter, wouldn't it? Um, nothing like it, all on the same foundation though. Uh, people yesterday, you know, we were chaining them up from down there, up to here. We got three packs up, it took us about 40 minutes. It's not hard, because you, you know, you're not moving them far. You know, people say, no, you should have a full lift and bumpers and all that. Bill was not going to pay for that, not in a million years. Uh, you know, that's why it is on domestic and private work. You've just, just got to get stuck in and do it. Uh, I used to have a barrel hoist, built barrel hoist, and it was a very good bit of equipment. It didn't get up any quicker, but it took all the hard work out of it. Um, but that got picked, so I never replaced it, and you know, I'm supposed to be semi retired now. So uh, I'm not investing in stuff to do this kind of work anymore. But um, you know, if they come along, we're doing this day work, that's why we mucked in. Um, you know, you, you just get on with it, don't you, really? Uh, I think that's it really for a minute. Right, we're done, haven't we? Half day Friday, isn't it? Have you got safety boots on? Yeah, look at them. Have I got safety boots on? Yeah. yeah. What you got on? Safety trainers. Safety trainers, how safe are they? Uh, quite safe. Can I stamp on your foot? No. No, so... <laughs> right. Why don't you wear safety shoes? I just don't like wearing them. You don't like wearing them? No. Oh, that's fair enough. You don't like wearing them? What can you say to that, eh? Right, well, yeah. Um, bank holiday, isn't it? Um, have a nice bank holiday weekend. We're starting soon. We'll be in the pub in about 10 minutes, will we? See you later.